So we have an incredible feat for a local spine surgeon and it is outside the operating room. He is about to complete what is known as the seven summits, which are the tallest mountain peaks on each continent. Climbing to the peak of this mountain isn't the only thing that'll take your breath away. This view is unreal. Before Rock Patel conquers these breathtaking views. This is a lot of my uh, climbing, uh, camping uh, gear. The journey starts here in a walk-in closet full of climbing gear at his Ann Arbor home. Being an accomplished mountaineer is Patel's hobby. His nine to five is an orthopedic surgeon for University of Michigan Health. There was no climbing where I grew up. Where I grew up, it was essentially the inner city in Queens. Uh, so I wasn't exposed to that at a young age. Patel says he started climbing in 2007 after finishing his residency at U of M. Over the years, he's left a maize and blue calling card atop some of the highest peaks in the world. Patel is on the precipice of climbing the seven summits, the tallest peaks in each continent, including Mount Kilimanjaro, Everest, and Denali. I think my experiences in residency and training uh, were really useful in helping me succeed on the mountains. Um, when you're in residency, you work really long hours and you deal with a lot of stressful situations. Conversely, Patel says climbing has made him a better doctor. It teaches you to stay calm in really stressful situations. Uh, I think that's one of the most valuable things. Recently, climbing has become one of the fastest growing sports. Rock climbing gyms have made it more accessible to learn. Rock Patel says there's a valuable lesson of resilience taught with each climb. There are a lot of times I've gone climbing uh, and I've never and I haven't reached the top. Uh, so some would consider that climb a failure, but you, know, you learn a lot of lessons along the way. Um, and you have to kind of put the pieces back together again and decide that you're gonna try it again and you know, do a better job. Uh, the same applies with surgery too. So you see that story, I know what you're thinking. How fitting for a climber to have a name like Rock, right? Well, Rock is short for Rakesh, it's of Indian descent. And Rakesh, or Rock says that when he was in living in Manhattan, when he was 60 pounds heavier, a lot of people confused him for Dwayne The Rock Johnson.